We're going to look at page 25 and 26 of page 1089. And actually, I'm making this video a little bit later than I did the earlier videos for this course because I had a student um, email me and say, Mr. Anger, why did you skip page 25 and 26? I need help. So I'm looking at it here, scale model, and I'm like, yeah, we probably should go over this. And then I'm looking at, um, this is actually a pace that a uh, student here in our church did homeschooling this year and I'm looking in three of the four problems she got wrong. So maybe it would have helped if uh, Mr. Inger had done a video to help with this concept. So basically the idea of a scale model is you want to take something that's too large to draw it exactly as large as it is and come up with something smaller so that you can um, play with it or examine it. For instance, here's a good application of this concept. Whenever my wife and I have moved, we have measured the house, measured all the rooms in feet. And then we've taken graph paper and let every little square of the graph paper represent one foot. And then we draw the rooms, we call it to scale, where one foot equals one little square. And then I go back and I measure all of the furniture, the bed, the dressers, maybe in the living room, the couch, the piano, all of those things. And I cut them out of um, post-it note paper so that you can lift them up and move them around and come up with the arrangement of where the furniture will be in the house before we move in. And that way, as we're moving in, we can tell our helpers we want this right here and we want this right here, and we've already thought it through. So scale models really help in being able to do that type of a thing. Now, let's look at this first example here. Um, I'm going to point out that from the top of this page, this is very important. We are going to do ratios, okay? And <clears throat> the model over the actual, so we're going to say model over actual equals model over actual, all right? Then we're going to plug in the numbers that are given. Now they have one little note here on the bottom of page uh, 25. It is in bold print, okay? It says the actual size is measured in feet but converted to inches for the model. And then if metric uh, measurements are used, the actual size is measured in meters, the model is in millimeters. So looking at this first example, a passenger car and a train is 43 feet, six inches long. How long is a model if the model was made on the HO scale and then if it was made on the N scale? So, first of all, they, um, I don't, I'm looking at the way they, they have it in, 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 uh, in the text here. They did it in feet first, and then they converted the answer to inches, a half a foot to inches. Okay. Uh, but let's look at the, the second example, we, spec, part B of number one, it says on the N scale. So the N scale means we're going to do the one over, um, I said 160, yep, 160, woohoo. So we're going to use the model one over 160 equals, and now we have to think about is the are we talking about the length on the model or the length of the actual thing? And we have the actual thing, okay? So that's where the 43 and a half feet would come in. And what I'm gonna do, <clears throat> I think this is easier, okay? Let's take the 43.5, because six inches is half a foot, so 43.5 feet times 12 inches. So that means I'm going to have 500, I'm going to sneeze. Ah, it worked. If I say I'm going to sneeze, then all of a sudden I don't sneeze. If I didn't do that, it would have been really loud. I'm sorry. All right, so we're going to put the 522 down here. This is 43.5 times the 12 inches. 
gives me the 522 inches. So here's the scale, okay? One over 600, this is the model over the actual 522 inches. The question is, how long will that model be? Okay, I'm not going to do, I'm gonna let you finish this one, but now that we have it set up, <clears throat> we could call this X, right? So we could cross multiply and say 160X equals one times 522, and then you can see how to finish that. You're just gonna multiply by one over 160 or divide by 160 on both sides. You can finish that and get the answer, okay? Um, number two is just a tad different. Let's look at that one, and hopefully by going over these two, it'll kind of set you up for doing three and four on your own. All right, number two, a model train locomotive is approximately 194 inches long. How long was the actual locomotive if the model was on the HO scale? Ho, ho, ho. All right, let's find the ho, ho scale here. We have one over 187. So we're going to use this same formula. One over 87. Now here's the trick, the 194, is that the actual or is that the model? Okay, we did it again to yourself. Is 194 the length of the model train or is that the length of the actual train? That is actually, that is the, I said actually, that is the model. Okay, it is actually the model, not the actual. So the model, so that goes up here, 194, and that's in millimeters. Okay, and then we're going to find the length in meters. Okay, so this is what we don't know. Call that x. So 1x equals 80, 87 times 194. When you do that math, you can use your calculator to do that. When you get the answer, that's in millimeters, so that's not our final answer. We have to actually move the decimal we have to divide by 100, so moving the decimal twice gives us the same effect. And that will give you the answer in meters. Okay? And then it says to round your answer to the nearest whole meter. So we don't need a decimal, so you're going to get a nice round number. All right. Um, on number three, just keep this... Keep this in mind here, the 5.5 inches is the model, okay? And then it asks for the length of the actual car. So in that one, you're gonna do one over 25. So they give us a different scale, one over 25. And then the model is 5.5 inches. So that goes on the top for the model. And now you're solving for the actual, okay? Remember the cross products, this times this equals this times this, just like we did for these two problems here. And hopefully that sets you up enough that you can do um, one, two, three, and even number four, okay?